Good morning, guys. To be completely honest, I'm having a rough morning again. Um, <clears throat> Hannah's at work, and I'm alone with my thoughts, so I'm just, like, thinking of horrible things and getting upset. But, and I hate admitting it. Like, I'm embarrassed saying that I'm still sad, but um, I promise I will be happy soon. Uh, Sam just Facebook messaged me, and we chatted for a while, and he invited Hannah and I to come to... Pleasanton for Thanksgiving with his family, which would be awesome because otherwise this would be me and Hannah's first Thanksgiving alone. So that will be fun. And then we might go camping in Big Sur and Kevin will come too and um, we'll have a great time. So I'm looking forward to that. And my mom just called me about getting a ticket home for Christmas. Um, but I think it'll be really good to go home. Hannah's home for lunch and she's making a stack of movies for me to watch to cheer me up. Uh, I wonder if I will regret when I look back and that I vlogged myself through these sad times. Um, but I told myself, like, I have to film today, but I've been crying all day. So, um, I'm still crying right now. But it's silly, and I just need to stop crying. Uh, but he and I decided this is the worst day because I was all alone, and that's why I'm so sad. Um, and I can't even think a straight thought. I've been trying to write down these ideas for this video, and, like, I can't even think straight. So maybe after I eat, I'll feel better, but in that stack is Seventeen again, which is a great, great movie. Always makes me happy. Um, any other great movies in there? Only other great movies. <laughs> Aquamarine. Oh, never seen that. Don't it. I know. Shame. Lilo and Stitch. That's a good movie. It feels heavy. There might be more than one in there. <laughs> Singing in the Rain. Oh, yeah, you love that. Sure do. The Parent Trap. Nice. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah. Bend It Like Beckham. Oh, my God. Uh, 18 Real World Spring Break. Oh, that might be a good one. And, last but definitely not least, The Social Network. Oh, Hannah loves that movie. It's like, <laughs> I feel like it's so out of character for her to love it too, uh, but she loves it. Here you go. You may not do anything other than watch these or vlog. Well, I'll be eating some ice cream and watching some movies, but... You don't have any ice cream, you wish. Oh, popsicles. We have tons of popsicles. You can use... You can... So, my favorite comment from yesterday, the Ray Bradbury... It's Ray Bradbury, right? Mm -hmm. Ray Bradbury quote. Hannah just read it, and she loves it also, and she's writing it down right now. <laughs> Would you agree that it suits our lifestyle pretty well? I'm going to hang it on a wall. <laughs> I'm going to frame it. <laughs> Me and Hannah have to go grocery shopping, and we have to ship the cookies to Chico. Um, I spent the past 45 minutes uh, shucking the... I knew you were going to say shucking. What do you call them? Brussels sprouts. Just because uh, I wanted to do that. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Back at the post office, not voting this time, sending cookies to Chico. I think I'm losing my voice. I feel like it sounds really weird. Um, yeah, hopefully they like it and all the little kissy marks on it. Turns out we picked the wrong post office because there's no mailing machine. Primitive, in my opinion. Mm. Also, all I ate all day was pickles. So I'm getting hungry. Hannah called me Snooky for eating pickles. Eating only pickles. Eating only pickles. Uh, excuse me? What do you mean you can't do this right now? It's like when we're trying to get the popsicles. Lo siento. <laughs> Might as well just have a dance party in here. <laughs> oh, we need to send the cookies. They're going to get old. What's going on? Everything's melting down. I'm going to climb this wall. What are you doing? Hannah's a little sore from insanity the other day. Yesterday. Yesterday. So she's running behind. When Hannah and I go to Target, we just point at things and go, Hannah, look! And she goes, Dot, look! And we literally just go around the whole you store and do that. You do that. You just did that. <laughs> Hannah cannot stop quoting Kesha, dinosaur. I totally forgot to tell you guys something crazy that happened while we were in Chico. Um, you so, didn't tell him? No. At Sam's house, they had the huge party. And some idiot put, what's it called? Mio. Mio. Mio, which is like energy drink droplets in the fish tank. So for like an hour, the fish tank was pink and we didn't know why. Um, and we were freaking out. We don't want the fish to get hurt. And then I saw the little bottle of Mio sitting there. And I was like, oh my God, somebody put Mio in the fish tank. And the fish were like super energized. But then we're like, this is definitely going to kill them. So we had to run and get a pot out of the kitchen and put the fish in a pot. And there was a foreign guy there from Turkey. And he thought we were cooking the fish to eat them. Um, and he's like, why are they doing that? And Sam was putting fish food in the pot. He's like, is that the seasoning? And he's really freaking out. But I don't know. 
what kind of meanie would do that? But we saved the fish. Uh, they're fine now. But we had a little bit of a scare. Hey, Ham, what are you having for breakfast? I'm going to go to Club Crave, probably. <laughs> Crave. Sounds like a disco to me. What do you want? What's your name? I don't know. I never know. You know what I want. Yeah, I want the plain brown, tasteless cereal. And you want the children's with like a mascot on the front. I'm not getting one with a mascot. Something called Puffs. <laughs> Favorite comment. Time heals all wounds. You're doing exactly the right thing moving forward. And I hope you do find some comfort in a large amount of people caring for you, even though you don't know them. Uh, so yeah, that's my favorite comment. Um, a lot of you guys have been saying really supportive stuff, and it's crazy to me that how many of you I have, uh, who I don't even know, who are just ready to support me no matter what. And I wanted to tell you guys that it is so hard for me to share that I'm sad with you, um, for several reasons, but one, because part of me wants to just keep like an illusion that I'm always doing well and all this stuff, but that wouldn't be honest, and I think the value of vlogging and um, sharing your life with somebody every single day is telling them, you know, at least partially the truth about how your life is going, because uh, people look at it as an example as somebody else's life, and I think to be dishonest would be, um, I don't know the point of doing that and about lying to you guys, so um, I'm going to be honest about the way I feel. Uh, so hopefully we can learn from each other. I can learn from your guys' stories. You can learn from mine. Um, it's also hard for me because by sharing my life with you, everyone I know knows every detail of my life. Um, like my parents and my friends at home, um, they find out through the vlog like how I'm feeling sometimes when normally I might keep it to myself. Uh, so my life is completely exposed to everyone I know and that's weird because I'm usually, I know this is crazy, but I'm usually a very private person and it's, it's weird to be sharing my life. And before it's like I had a pretty... I was always doing fun stuff, um, so it wasn't hard for me to share. But now that my life is going through a little bit of a roller coaster, um, I'm hesitant to share stuff with you guys and with the world. So, um, but I want you to know that I'm doing it anyway, and it is hard for me. Uh, but I wanted to be honest through all of this because it's kind of an experiment, and I want to be able to look back on these videos um, and know that I was kind of honest, and I, I can learn from them by looking back. Uh, so this is a very strange time in my life to be vlogging. Um, the fact that I'm vlogging in general is strange, uh, especially for my personality. It, it was a weird situation that got me started doing it, and it's weird that I'm still doing it, because it's, it's very unlike something I would do, because I am so private and shy. Um, but I think it's a good uh, exercise for my personality and for um, filmmaking and being open and sharing. And um, I'm learning a lot about myself, and it's weird to do it you know, in my 20s when I'm evolving the most. Uh, but I do like looking back on the vlogs a lot. I feel like I've already learned a lot from looking back on last year. Um, so thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Uh, I'm excited to look back on these sad vlogs and laugh because I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, so good days are ahead. Somebody said, remember the bubbles dot, and I haven't forgotten. Um, I know there are good things ahead. I, I can basically only go up from here, so I'm excited about the good things. Um, thank you guys again for being so supportive. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to watch Bones because a new episode is out and that will cheer me up. Um, I hope you guys have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. California is waiting, is waiting for you.